What's up guys this is Bharat here welcome back to yet another video on tech matrix today let's check out the world's uh, smartest lock it's the no key from smile drive let's get to it I got this on smiledrive.in and they're exclusive sellers for Nokia and many other security gadgets so check out the page to get more details also for Techmetrix audience use the code matrixsd that is m a t r i x s d on orders above 3000 on smiledrive.in to get an exclusive 10% off so head over to smiledrive from the links in the description down below the Nokia costs 4799 INR in India and 6999 US dollars for the rest of the world. It comes in a single brushed stainless steel design. The packaging is solid and premium. Opening the box is slightly tricky. You need to cut this tape out on top and open the back of the box like this. And inside you will need to unclip this plastic and the Nokia will pop out. Inside the box you get the Nokia lock and a user manual is also present. The Nokia is a Bluetooth lock so you don't need to carry a key ever. It's made of boron hardened steel shackle and works in temperatures from minus 23 degrees Celsius up to 65 degrees Celsius. It's rated for water resistant IP66 standard. It works on Bluetooth 4.0 and needs a 2032 coin battery to operate. However, it's said to have more than one year of life with one single battery. It's compatible with Android and iOS. Once you open the Nokia, you will need to install the app from the Play Store and create an account first. Basic information like name, email ID and password. Once you're done, you will need to click on add lock at the bottom right and then click the shackle on the Nokia and it will get connected. And asked to input a name for the Nokia, you can choose two ways to unlock. Either one click unlock when you have your phones near to just click and unlock or two step unlock for extra security where you need to confirm on the app when you click the no key and even if you don't have your smartphone with you you can create a code of short and long clicks to unlock when you're not carrying your smartphones once you are done with this it will update the no key with the settings and unlock patterns and you're ready to go there are also an optional key fob which you can get separately if you want to use that instead of your smartphones this will be handy for enterprise and use cases where multiple locks needed to be unlocked what more inside the app you get a lot of other settings like sharing key or fob key to other users easily and securely you can also view when the no key was unlocked and by whom and at what location exactly you can also increase or decrease the range in which the no key gets detected on the app or fob changing the batteries was a bit tiresome first you will need to unlock the no key and then at the back you will need to press down very firmly and rotate the back to the highlighted white dots and then this back plate will come apart here you will need to change the CR2032 coin battery and then put it back and you are good to go. If the battery has completely dried out, you could just unscrew the base like this with any coin and keep a CR2032 battery in a 45 degree slanting position to jumpstart the Nokia. So all said and done, the devices like Nokia are shaping the future of smart devices. Although for me personally, since I love gadgets, the cost isn't that much of an issue and I'll go for the convenience it brings and all the features of sharing with friends and family without the hassles of making extra key for everyone. Also good for offices, societies, gyms who want access of the key to be given to certain people and by just allowing it through an app, it becomes convenient and also you get to know who came in and used the lock. If it was more affordable, I'm sure many more regular users would have also moved into this kind of a lock since it is the future of locks. So that's it guys for now. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, subscribe for more such informative videos and stay tuned. This is Bharat here, signing off.